Hi, my name is Lily Manning and I'm from York County, Pennsylvania. I'm currently studying at York College of Pennsylvania to gain my bachelor's in elementary education, K through four. I want to be a teacher because I've always felt a very easy connection to children. Children at a young age are very enthusiastic to learn and just beginning to grow into their personalities. I want to be an encouraging mentor, not only academically, but emotionally as well. Children at this age are very impressionable and I hope to play a positive part in who they become. As a young school student, I experienced what I felt to be minimal education technology. Occasionally, we watched videos, played math computer games, and learned how to type using keyboards. Later in my education, I had access to computer labs and laptops, but they were mainly used for research. It wasn't until recently, during my college education, that technology was used frequently. The continuous use of technology is new to me, and I'm excited to learn more about the tools and the uses of them. One of the biggest changes in classrooms is the access that students have to technology devices. According to the journal, who took a poll in 2013, a third of students have access to a device, typically a laptop or tablet. Another technology trend recent to classrooms is the use of online videos by teachers and the access that the students have to them. The journal also found that 23% of students are accessing videos created by their teachers. Online learning, gaming technology, and social media are becoming more prevalent. Online activities are being used by teachers for in-class learning as well as for students to complete their homework. I believe students should engage in creativity and innovation as well as critical thinking, problem solving, and decision making when using technology. These student guidelines can be found in the ISTE standards 1 and 3. Teachers should use technology to customize student learning. According to the article, Education in the Age of Technology, computers can respond to the particular interest and difficulties that learners have and provide content on any topic of interest. This allows teachers to avoid teaching every student the same thing at the same time. I hope to use synchronous technologies like Nearpod, Class Dojo, and Padlet. Nearpod is a great way to introduce new material because it is engaging and exciting for the students. It allows the teacher to keep an eye on the students and is easily accessible from any device. Class Dojo allows teachers to keep track of student behavior and attendance. It has game-like features which gives points for good student behavior and takes points away for unwanted behavior. Padlet is a great tool for student brainstorming and vocabulary, showing multiple posts on one screen. This tool is also great for KWL charts. iMovie and EduCreations are great asynchronous tools I hope to use in the future. iMovie is something that I can use as the teacher to share video demos to my students, like how to use a new app. Students can also use this to make their own videos. EduCreations is a great tool to preview a story or to show a new concept. It is a great tool for flipped lessons. I hope to use technology in my lessons in a way that does not replace my role as the teacher. I think technology can be a great tool to assist the lesson and to reach multiple types of learners. My main goal with education technology is to find a balance between traditional teaching styles and a technology inclusive instruction. I want to stay curious about new technologies. I hope to keep my classroom and instruction refreshed and exciting. I think education technology is one of the best ways to succeed in that.